Hiya, today it's a video about the Talk Talk Super Router, uh, which was sent as part of a business package at the beginning of May 2018. So, a bit like my other videos, this really isn't intended to be an unboxing or really a review. I'm just going to show the lights on the front of it, the ports on the back, uh, where the reset hole is, any other buttons that might be on it. This is mainly so that somebody who is trying to support uh, a user over the telephone who has one of these routers can look at this video and then say where the connectors are or what lights to look out for. So the this was wrapped in a bit of card which had a business, the Talk Talk business branding on it and then inside it is just Talk Talk uh, retail branding so for their home users and a fairly complicated design or design instructions on how to plug the router in depending on the type of socket you have now that the BT have got all sorts of different layouts of sockets and everything you get a card with your wireless name and password on it on the back of it there's not a lot I've written down the admin password for the router Setup guide which doesn't have a lot in it. it, just tells you how to connect Android devices, how to connect iPhones and everything. The router itself, which I'll come back to. Compliance and warranty safety information, not very exciting. The power adapter is in this left hand section. And uh, for anyone that may want to know what it is, if it focuses, there we go, it's 12 volts or 1 amp power supply. Uh, under that, you get an Ethernet cable, one microfilter, and the RJ11 lead which goes to the router, and another microfilter. Interestingly, at least with mine, I haven't plugged that in, that came pre plugged into the microfilter. Uh, and the other microfilter was still in its bag. So moving on to the router. You've got power light, broadband light, internet light, wireless light, ethernet light, and TV light. In almost all cases, I expect the TV light is off. Maybe if you're a Talk Talk retail customer uh, with their TV service, it might come on at some point. Uh, the yeah, so it's got a sticker on it that says Talk Talk Business. Huawei HG633, hardware version H.1.01. Um, got a screw hole there, a screw hole there which is covered with a warranty sticker. Uh, the broadband RJ11 connection which you'd connect into the phone line. Uh, Ethernet is 1 through to 4. USB port which is blue so might even be USB 3. The reset hole and the power socket. Two feet on the underside which you can fold out so that it stands up. On the edges, as you look at it, on the left hand edge you've got the WPS button for connecting wireless devices that you don't want to type in a password or don't have the ability to type in a password. The on off plunger or switch and then there's nothing on the right hand side as you look at it, so there's only stuff on the left hand side. So let's plug it in. and then not a lot will happen because I'm not plugging it into a phone line. 
So probably the most that will happen is that wireless light will come on. Right, so the next step will be for me to plug this into a computer and I'll fire up some screen recording software and you can see the web interface. It will probably be a separate video, so if so, have a look through uh, either the suggested videos possibly that come up on YouTube for this or look in the description. I'll link to that video about the web interface of it. There'll also be another video on how to factory reset it as well. If this video has been helpful to you, it would be really, really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing. It, I don't really care whether you have notifications on or even whether you watch any of the videos in the future. The biggest thing for me and uh, for YouTube is the subscriber numbers seem to really make a difference these days as to whether you're allowed to monetize videos. So if you wouldn't mind subscribing, that would be really good. Thank you.